Welcome to the English Watch. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the bracelet on this Amiga Seamaster Planet Ocean. Now this video applies to any modern Seamaster bracelet and it allows you to adjust your bracelets, add and remove links and show you all the techniques and the tools needed so you can safely remove the links without damaging your watch. So stay with me and let's get into it. Now before we get started let's just point out the obvious ways to adjust your bracelet. Now modern Omegas, certainly the Seamaster range, come with this quite handy push button adjuster and it adjusts it by about 9mm. You just depress the button underneath and it slides in and out. Now I find this much easier than the Rolex Glide Lock, although the clasp is a bit chunkier so maybe the Rolex has a more compact design. The other way of doing this is with the fully deployant diver extension. Now you'd have to have pretty big wrists to want to do this. Uh, this is best used over a wetsuit so I've never really used that deployment. I tend to use the adjuster for day-to-day -day adjustment but if you want to get it just right the best thing to do is get the adjuster in the middle like this and then check it. You should have just enough adjustment in there just for the right fit for you on a normal day and if your wrist shrinks you can adjust it in and if your wrist grows you can adjust it out. So I find the midpoint is the best place to start. Now if you still find you need to add or remove links what we're going to do is I'm going to practice on these links here. Now for me my six and three quarter inch wrist I've removed one two three four links or the AD did for me. I'm going to use this screwdriver here which is a 0.3 by 1.8, so 1.8 being across the uh, the head of the screwdriver, and that fits just nicely into the screws on on this link. We're also going to use some Loctite 222. This is a low strength Loctite, and it'll stop you from over tightening your screws and make sure that they don't fall out. Okay, so let's get started. Now, a couple of points to note when you adjust these bracelets: you will notice that although this linkage does fold over quite nicely this way. If, you if I turn it over it doesn't want to fold the other way. So you've got to be really careful that you put these links in the right way around. Now if you see this link hole here you can see that it's towards the bottom end of the link. So as a rule of thumb when you put these links back in make sure that the hole is on the wrist side not on the top side. That will ensure that you don't put any links in the wrong way around and you don't get some weird binding up of the, uh, the bracelet. You'll also notice that these bracelets have got screws on both sides. Unlike a Rolex or a Tudor that only have a single screw and a pin that goes all the way through. These have separate screws and a pull-out pin that you can see. Now these are very small parts so be very careful and don't lose them. Now holding a metal instrument anywhere near these brushed or polished areas there's a likelihood that you're going to scratch the watch. Now you can tape up these watches and you can use some of the polyamide tape and sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put a bit of tape like that either side of this screw that I'm going to adjust. There you go, so we're minimising all the parts of the bracelet that I can scratch. Now the next thing to do is to make sure your hands are supported. You don't want to be wobbling around. So make sure your hands are supported. And I'm going to take the screwdriver and I'm going to gently place it into the slot. Now if you need reading glasses, make sure you put them on and just rock it forwards like this. And then what we're going to do is just very gently unscrew if you think the screwdriver is about to slip, just take it away immediately and then just guide it back in again. Very gently. There we go. Okay, so that screw has now popped out. See, it's very tiny. There it is. You will lose that, so be very careful. Right, the next thing to do is we need to get the pin out of this bracelet. So if I'm really lucky when I tip it over it will fall out. It's not happening. So you could remove the other screw and push it through. 
but I don't want to damage or potentially damage another screw head. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tap it with the screwdriver and hopefully if I'm feeling lucky. Okay, so no amount of tapping is going to get that little sucker out. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew the other side. So again, being very careful. I won't use tape this time because I've done this a number of times. I'm pretty confident. So just start to unwind it. Once the uh, initial bite's gone, they're very simple to take out. So just very carefully. There you go, and it's gone. What I'll do now is I'll take my Bergeon tool and again, very carefully poke that through. And you can see now that the pin has come out the other end. There it is, and that link should come away. Now each of these links is about eight millimeters wide. There are no half links, so it's a good job that there's the adjustable clasp that you can take out the fine adjustment on. So that is one benefit of this. But these are eight millimeters increments that you remove. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna put the uh, bracelet back together. Now the first thing I'll do is just take this small piece and what we want to do is put one of these screws back in because we don't want the pin to drop all the way through. Now before we do that, I'm going to get a little bit of tape here and onto that tape I'm going to blob some of my Loctite triple two. Let's just put a bit on there. Don't need much at all, this will last you a lifetime. We're then going to get a toothpick or cocktail stick Scrape a bit of that Loctite up there and just put it just inside the hole. What we want to do now is place this screw back in here. So just gently put it in. You can use tweezers, but I find doing it by hand and by eye is pretty easy. And then again, very carefully going in with the screwdriver, just give it a backwards turn a couple of times just so you engage the threads and then go forwards. That way you won't cross thread it and the screw won't tip. And then again, just steady in your hands. Make sure the screw is engaged with the screwdriver and just keep turning it. Again, you can apply tape if you're a bit unsteady and keep turning. You'll feel it tighten, but don't over tighten it. Just stop and just apply a small amount of pressure and then release. Now that Loctite will hold that screw in place so you won't need to over tighten and mash the end of the, uh, the screw. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the link and remember you want the hole on the inner link to hit the bottom on both links, which I have done. Put them together. Take the pin, making sure we haven't lost it. Poke it in. Use this cocktail stick just to push it down into the hole. Now one quick check to make sure that you put the link in the right way is if you just let it go it should just fold over nicely like that. If you put it in the wrong way it wouldn't go. Yeah. So they all go the same way. So I got it right first time. Now then we need to glue the other screw now so a bit of Loctite again on the cocktail stick. Just put a little bit on the threads more like so then pick up this tiny little screw try and get the threads in the right direction there we go for that first time and then again steady in the screwdriver engage the uh, slot on the head of the screw turn it back just to engage the threads there we go If you're not sure, just turn it back again until the screw head is level. It is a tiny little thing, so it can be quite fiddly. There we go, I've got it. And then again, just taking great care to screw that sucker in. They're not over tight, I'm just applying the smallest amount of pressure right at the end, and then remove it. 
and there's no residue there. And any, any residue that does come through will dry up and you won't see it after a while anyway. And there you go. That is one link removed and replaced again. Hope you found this uh, video instructive and useful. Uh, please take care when you're making adjustments to your watches, certainly with sharp implements. Use the right levels of protection. I always recommend using this poly alloy my tape. You can see the links in my description at the end for the Loctite, for the tape, for all these tools to help you out. So thanks for listening and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.